All right, guys, we are definitely going through a quantum leap in technology, a quantum leap in finance. We are entering into what I would call a fifth dimensional financial system where it's not just black and white, but it's a full spectrum color of that cosmic infrastructure that we all know as the universe is now manifesting into our daily lives. And as we make this jump to the next dimension, are you coming with me? Are you in position financially in the market that's going to be the next financial system? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew DeVilbus. Thank you for joining me. To, this channel is focused on enterprise grade distributed ledger technology. I'm a career investor. This is my hobby, my passion, and my life. Let's get right into it. Man, this guy right here, Roaring Kitty, he's back. All of a sudden, markets are going crazy. AMC, GameStop, everything's being halted back and forth. People are conspir uh, making up conspiracy theories that the system is rigged against you, that it's the matrix doesn't want you to get rich. But we over here understand that in reality, what's going on is that the back end settlement system cannot handle this massive influx of liquidity coming into this old world infrastructure. It's time to upgrade the system, like Circle says. It's time to upgrade the system, like Coinbase continues to yell. It's time to bring about that interoperable internet of value where tokens of all kinds can interoperate and be exchanged for one another through our very own xrp ledger not only just xrp the galaxy that is the xrp ecosystem of DeFi protocols but now we are caught in the gravity of another galaxy ladies and gentlemen that is the cosmos ripple and pierce have been working on an evm sidechain and they are extremely excited to announce that they've been working on it for the past year, developing an EVM sidechain for the XRP ledger that is currently in DevNet. As you can see, this solar system coming together, that equilibrium that is the XRP coin that is going to be exchangeable for all assets of value to be able to interoperate with any token to any token, any asset to any asset. This is very exciting, right? Now, I posted earlier... Uh, Ripple, XRP Army, listen up. XRPL and the XRP, that is our central sun on our blockchain, right? Our solar system of DeFi protocols we have grown to know and love is now being caught in the gravity of not just the Ethereum chains, but also an entire galaxy that is Cosmos. This galaxy consists of many other solar systems and ecosystems we should rejoice in knowing that our ecosystem of finance has merged in alignment with the future of that multi-chain destiny that is web3 so what is cosmos we're going to let these guys explain it to you here and now and Check you were to explain um cosmos like uh like the audience is five then um mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna do and likely sunny's gonna start and put on his ethereum 2 hat and then talk about what he thinks Ethereum 2 is about. So do you want to start? Yeah. Want to start? yeah, yeah. So I actually was thinking about this on the hike today because I, I noticed I noted in the, the email I got that it may be one of the things that we talked about. Um, and I, I decided to, instead of researching Cosmos more, to uh, explain it as, as I've picked up in conversations and like content and things over the years. And I, so I, I can't say I've ever done a, like a very deep dive, but I think I kind of know what's going on. Um, and it might be wildly incorrect. So we'll see. Um, okay. So Cosmos is um, founded upon the premise that there's going to be many blockchains. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what the guess is, but call it probably more than 50 relevant blockchains, maybe on the order of thousands. Um, and in such a world, uh, we want these blockchains to be able to communicate and interrupt because siloed stuff like, you know, that's like, that's, that's web two. uh, siloed, like not where we're going. Like we're trying to build this like open decentralized thing. So in Cosmos, we're going to build blockchains, tooling and, and, uh, infrastructure, um, and protocols to ensure that these, um, hundreds or thousands of blockchains don't become siloed and can, can interrupt in a um, 
you know, awesome and fantastic way. So uh, to do that, there's a handful of things that we're going to need. Um, first of all, probably is like, you know, how are these things going to communicate? If we can't agree, if we can't speak the same language, then uh, we're not going to really get that far. And building ad hoc solutions for uh, communication on like an application application basis or blockchain blockchain basis um, isn't going to be what we want to do. So instead, let's see if we can think about the grand scope of the things and generalize into like certain structures and communication protocols so we can solve the communication problem. So I think that's IBC. Um, then we have this problem where we have uh, many blockchains uh, that want to talk to each other and understanding what's going on in another blockchain uh, can be can be difficult. So even if you have like a general purpose uh, programmable blockchain, you still probably have to like program into it and in some, some smart contract layer to understand about like finality or block headers. And you're seeing some of this on Ethereum today. Uh, for example, like since the TPTC, like they're updating block headers and making claims about Bitcoin, but it's on again, it's like a very ad hoc basis. So if we can instead build, I think what's called a hub, um, we can. Um, we can m handle all of the complexity of things linking into the hub. So we handle like a, on a single blockchain basis instead of like on an N squared basis. Um, and we'll facilitate community. As long as I can know what the hub's saying, then I can know what the hub's saying about other blockchains. So then comes uh, the actual blockchain portion of Cosmos is to build these hubs, build this blockchain that, that can make claims about um, the state and probably what we'd normally call like a finalized state or maybe uh, in, big, in, in, a, in a, a proof of work chain, like a certain depth of, of difficulty, uh, make claims about that. Thus, um, if I can make a claim about, if I can understand that hub, now I can make claims about those other chains. Um, and the way that I would then make those claims is by a, in, a, in, a, in a nice way is by using that uh, IBC. There's also, um, I think, there's an SDK, and I think that that has to do with um, if we uh, are following the premise that there's going to be many blockchains, let's make it easy to build these blockchains, and let's make it easy for them to plug into this communication protocol and hub that we, we built, and thus the SDK mm -hmm. to build that out. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was Cosmos also uses... Um, Crypto economic, uh, like Byzantine fault tolerant, uh, mechanisms to, to have a proof of stake protocol and to finalize things and, uh, and to have accountable safety, similar to, I think, all secure proof of stake, uh, avenues. Um, and so there's validators and there's tokens and, um, all that, all that good stuff. And I, I think there can be many hubs, um, and maybe there's like a main one right now that, has a lot of value behind it, but you know, people can spin these up um, in a generic way. Uh, there's probably a ton more there, but that's no, that was I'm amazing. Sure. That was spot on. I think that was better than like. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have two ecosystems colliding. We are creating a new universe of finance. We are the new pioneers and explorers of this new dimension of finance and web infrastructure how exciting so xrp army i'm calling on you let's go on a recon mission together to explore this new dimension to figure out what DeFi is how it works how it can benefit us in our daily lives and how we can feed our family for a lifetime on this new financial infrastructure that eternal liquidity pool that is the xrp ledger let's continue on because check this out mr man also added to this uh to the story mr man xrp great great guy one of my inspirations i'm actually going to be doing an interview with him later on today he says cosmos is the blockchain of blockchains it allows the continuity of blockchains through interoperability also corium offers a bridge from the ibc cosmos to the xrpl that allows xrp to seamlessly transfer to other blockchains as needed so what this is doing right we have to think of it this way right all these ecosystems are like rivers and lakes and streams and now they are connected to the deep ocean 
that highly liquid ocean that pumps eternally from the core of the planet. That is the XRP ledger. Now, this is a snippet from the article that they dropped earlier. It says the, e the XRPL EVM sidechain will be built leveraging the EVM OS, a modular and customizable tech stack offered by EVM OS. The EVM OS enables EVM compatibility and full customability on top of the Cosmos SDK. Now I highlighted this section. It brings access to over 60 Cosmos SDK chains via the inter-blockchain communication protocol powered by EVM OS. The XRPL EVM sidechain aligns with the industry standards and joins one of the most versatile Web3 ecosystems, the interchain. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can see what I can see here, we are like these different civilizations in the cosmic force of finance and web three and it's we are building a financial system where it doesn't matter if you're from the romulans or you're from earth or you're from sirius wherever you are we will have interoperability with our financial ecosystems and you will be able to trade and interact with different civilizations and through the xrp and the i interledger protocol we are federating that financial system hats off to you if you are in position to take advantage of this new frontier if you are on the recon mission with me to learn and study and deep dive these high level documents from these high level institutions to see what the financial institutions are doing to see what the web3 ecosystems are doing how they're going to connect it all together and what this is really uh, becoming right we are seeing a new dimension being formed right in front of us take the quantum leap today and click the link in the bio and you will have an access to a library of study sessions that i have recorded just for you now check this out xrp drops everything computes via tokens everyone transacts via tokens now this is from ripples head of payments marketing oliver segovia with a uh, a, a succinct statement that might provide some insight into how ripple plans to develop its business model and how xrp fits into the digital economy he says in the core of ripple's cross-border payment solution tokenization it offers liquidity and permits real-time cross-border settlement xrp is an essential digital asset in facilitating these transactions so in the future token to token is the way it's going to be this is more than just bridging ecosystems this is making the actual assets interoperable so i can exchange one asset to you for another right and then we're entering into dvp delivery versus payment payment to payment all that is coming together through the xrp ledger the xrp ledger is the core financial infrastructure for the internet of value anything that comes and connects to us is going to is going to be able to interoperate with that functionality bringing ilp to the masses now bank xrp ripples master plan how tokenization could boost xrp to new heights crypto news flash this is from uh, their uh, article. We're going to read this. Ripple's master plan, how the tokenization could boost XRP to new heights. Now, this is from today, and it's about a two-minute read. We're going to read just a little bit of it, right? So, head of payments marketing Oliver Segovia recently shared his predictions for the future of transactions on social media. Segovia said in a provocative statement, Tokens are the basis of everything. We all use tokens for transactions. This session statement might provide some insight into how Ripple plans to develop its business model and how XRP fits into the digital economy. According to Segovia, tokenization of assets is a key component of the payments of the future for Ripple. Through its emphasis of the global character of token transactions, Segovia draws attention to the revolutionary potential of blockchain technology and the digital assets such as XRP. This dedication represents a strategic course for Ripple rather than merely a temporary fad. So you see here, he says, everything computes via tokens, everything uh, transacts via tokens. 
The function of XRP and tokenization in the core of Ripple's cross-border payment solutions is tokenization. The process of transforming rights to an asset into a digital token on a blockchain because it offers liquidity and permits real-time cross-border settlement, XRP is an essential digital asset in facilitating these transactions. As such, XRP is a crucial component of Ripple's financial transactional future. With blockchain technology becoming more widely used, Ripple is leading the way in creating solutions that make use of tokenization. The manner in which value is transferred internationally is about to be completely transformed by this technology. The creative way Ripple approaches things guarantees that it will keep ahead of the quickly changing digital economy. So we are entering into a world of token exchange through token exchange through token. Now you're going to be able to pay for your lunch with Apple stock, with whatever you want. FinTech apps are going to interoperate it is going to be a hyper-connected world, a new dimension of finance that is going to merge with other DLTs that are innovating in this way, in its own special way, and it's all going to be wrapped together in one massive string theory quantum financial system. Ladies and gentlemen, you are an initial investor here. You are going to make the way as a pioneer, as a recon mission for the xrp army congratulations and i salute you now the biggest disruption with tokenization with cbdc's is the fintechs right the fintech service providers are going to be able to build on top of these blockchains that are regulated and bring an array of new products and services to the consumer in my opinion, this is going to create a wave of innovation that I'm calling super apps. Now, some people call it killer apps. Now, this talk right here is from the Digital Euro Conference and was released today when I posted this. This was yesterday. The Digital Euro Conference is a think tank that brings together the brightest minds in the digital money realm. Note the Ripple sponsorship, Hedera, Casper, and MasterCard, and many, many more. Let's give this a listen because he's going to explain to you the wave of innovation that we are about to see, that we are going to be able to take uh, a hold of and be able to invest with these guys because this is where the money is moving. We're moving into a private equity world. We're moving into a private real estate world. We're moving into a private tokenization world that is going to be interoperable with hybrid blockchains, public networks, private networks all come together to make a new ecosystem that is a new solar system of multi-dimensional parallel universes coming together and having a cambrian explosion of finance for us in our future let's check it out but i think the biggest disruption is actually the one that uh, um, miguel has just mentioned and it's the fact that with this parallel system opening up for new players to come in and to innovate it potentially means that there's another channel for those players to sell financial services. So you can start as a digital euro uh, wallet provider, no change to your customer's bank, the bank stays the same, but there's a link between your digital euro wallet and your commercial bank account. And then that FinTech can then sell other services. It's an opportunity for them to upsell other services and this is the intention of the digital euro legislation yeah that it's a an incentive to enter the market because you can sell other services but i think the biggest so we are right in front of a huge tailwind of of new world financial applications that are going to connect the internet of things to the internet of value the internet of value is going to create it's going to connect the internet of things to the new web3 ecosystem that is a multi-dimensional cosmos that we are going to be the initial investors in ladies and gentlemen i salute you for being here for taking the time to understand what this is going through it is truly truly phenomenal and we are all here together let's link let's do this together and let's move into this new frontier i run a private patreon where i record my study sessions link down below if you're interested i'll see you guys on the next one peace